I may have failed you. I've been doing this everyday AI thing and this thing every day um, called AI in five where we review software and how have we not done gamma app? It's amazing. All right, let's talk about it. But first, let me give you a little context. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people like you and me learn and leverage AI. That's what we do in AI in five. Uh, if you like this, please go to youreverydayai.com, subscribe to the free daily newsletter. That's where we share these every single day. And also you can subscribe to the channel. All right, so let's jump in and look at Gamma app. So it is a, uh, there is a great free plan actually. So if I go back over here and look at pricing, um, you know, there's, uh, you, you get essentially 400 AI credits when you sign up. Um, but if you want to use this on an ongoing basis, uh, you're probably going to want a paid plan, but we can go over the basics of it, um, in the free plan. So let's just quickly talk and, and look what it does, but, um, essentially you can generate, uh, like it says right here, you can generate docs, decks, and web pages in seconds, just with text. Um, you know, Canva has a, a feature like this. There's actually plenty uh, a lot of different, uh, a lot of different uh, apps and AI powered software that does this. But I think Gamma, if I'm being honest, is probably one of the best. All right, so let's jump into our dashboard. So again, I just signed up for the free account with my Google account. Um, and there's a couple of things you can go through here and look at templates, inspiration, themes, custom fonts. You have to have a paid plan to do that. And you can upload a font family um, and you can kind of see the credits that you have left and then you can upgrade there if you want to. So let's go ahead and go to uh let's go to all gammas here so you can import which is really cool you can import doc uh something from a google uh google doc um or you can go uh create new with ai so i'm going to click new with ai and then i'm going to go to uh, text transform okay so what i did here it was actually just there I actually uh, did this in ChatGPT. I used ChatGPT with plugins to summarize one of my podcast episodes where we talked about uh, tokens. So I'm going to copy this text and then I'm going to jump back in to Gamma. I'm going to paste this and then I'm gonna also going to I'm going to update this so you can uh, provide instructions here. So I like the professional, but I also want it to be a little fun. Uh, so I'm going to say uh, you can add wit and a little humor as well, okay? Because I don't want this to be super dry. All right, so this is, again, this is very simple. All I need to do is paste my text in here. So this is gonna be, this is going to essentially turn into slides. You can choose presentation, document, or web page. I want a presentation. Um, I want it, yeah, 10 cards is good. And then you can choose the image license. So whether it's free to use or free to use commercially, I'm gonna go with all. And then if you have the pro plan, you can go uh, for the large model, which allows longer uh, longer inputs and longer outputs. Uh, so let's go ahead and use it as is and generate. All right, so we're gonna pick a theme here first. I'm gonna pick this one uh, and then click continue. And you'll see, it is going to write it in front of our eyes, right? Isn't this wild? Like <laughs> watching it create it uh, in front. I actually like this better. You, you know, some apps, they just give you kind of like a spinny wheel. Uh, but I'd like to watch this, um, because number one, it's impressive. Uh, but number two, you can actually see how the program is working. And now I kind of know how to update it if I need to. All right. So now what we have is a pretty good looking, uh, presentation. So there are still things you can do manually. You can go in here and change anything you want, obviously. Um, you can go in and change the image here. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to click, uh, it says token coding. That's why we got that kind of medical thing. So I just want tokens. Um, I'm going to click enter. Um, even though this isn't exactly what I want in terms of tokens, uh, it's good enough. So I'm going to click that. Um, and we'll run with that. Sure. Um, okay. So I'm going to do something here is you can, um, click edit with AI. So I believe all you have to do is click on the slide. Um, and you can talk to it and say, um, say, let's change this layout. Okay. And it says, sure, let's change the layout. All right. And then I'm going to actually going to, let's see, how can I, how can I move my big head out of, head out of the way? Um, that's fine. No worries. 
I'll explain to you what's going on. Okay, so now it's uh, saying there's a suggested in the original. So the suggested here uh, gave me kind of a new layout. So here's the original, here's the suggested. So let's just go with um, suggested. And it changed the whole thing. Wow, pretty cool. Okay, um, so we're gonna go with suggested for that. Oh no, it just did it for that one. Um, okay, so now I can move on. And I can just, I can also say something like, let's change the entire look, right? So I'm going to say, uh, let's see if I can do it without being on one slide, if I can do it with all. Uh, I'm going to say, let's change the look of this presentation. Now it says, all right, let's change the look. Um, and it's doing the same thing. It's giving me a suggested versus the original. I actually like the suggested better. Okay, so another thing that you can do, like as an example, um, maybe I want this to be formatted as a table instead. So I'm gonna say format this as a table. And it said, it said, all right, I'm gonna start formatting it as a table. And so here is the original. And then the suggested, you can see it kind of gives it some, some shading and uh, kind of like a line down the middle. So pretty good. Okay, so let's say if I go here, um, I'm, a, I'm actually gonna try this. I'm gonna try to give it multiple directions. I'm gonna say, let's make the headline smaller and add a third uh, kind of uh, bullet point below it. Let's see if that works. I'm giving it two different commands and Wow, look at that. So here's the original. Uh, here is the update. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see what else we can do here. So I'm going to click on this slide and I'm going to say, uh, let's change the uh, box color from blue to purple. I, have, I actually have no clue, y'all, if this works, uh, but let's see. Okay, so it kind of, let's see, original, suggested. Okay, it actually changed the font. Um, which we didn't want, but, uh, let's just go with original. So I'm going to say, I'm going to try it one more time. So I'm going to say, let's change the box, uh, the background box color. Maybe that'll help background box color from blue to purple and keep the, uh, and make the font white. I think right now it's kind of a beige. I'm not sure. So let's, let's try that again. I'm giving multiple commands. Uh, it looks like that was a little too difficult. I'm going to say, let's make the font white. Because right now, it's not white. Let's see. There we go. Change the font color. Cool. Um, and then let's let's try let's try one more thing. Let's just uh, let's just again uh, let's say make a third bullet point. And there we go. Here's the original. Here's the suggested with the third one. So in this case, it ran out of information uh, because I did make this a longer slide. So it ran out of information. So uh, now I'm actually curious here. So let's say um, you can do a backslash and bring up this command just like so many apps do. So I'm scrolling through here so I can generate images with AI. So maybe I'll just put an image there. Um, and I'm going to talk about, uh, oh, cool. So it gives me a prompt right away, which is cool. So it's saying, if I want an image here, it's saying a cautionary image prompt, pitfalls and hallucinations. So it's essentially just giving me the context of that slide so I can create a um, an image based on the content. So uh, it is kind of a crazy slide, if I'm being honest, because it's talking about hallucinations and pitfalls, uh, which is pretty specific. But uh, there we go. If I wanted to just uh, you know have that photo, there we go. It's there. All right. So this is a pretty brief overview of what you can do um, inside of this program. Also, you can add a blank card just like that. Pretty cool. Uh, also, you can always just click the add card with AI. Um, and then all you have to do, I'm going to go ahead and actually do this uh, above. So I'm going to click the add card with AI. It might have put it at the bottom. I'm actually not sure where it went, but that's okay. All right. Uh, I didn't want this one to turn into too long. I wanted to show you uh, just how easy it is. I like this. I've tried uh, other AI image uh, or, or, or other AI presentation. 
uh, platforms and programs. And uh, none of them, if I'm being honest, are fantastic. Uh, I do think that Gamma app is really good. So a couple things that we can do from here, uh, you can always go back and edit the theme. Uh, you can click to share, invite others, export or embed, which is pretty cool. Um, even it looks like even on the, uh, on the free plan, you can export, which is pretty nice. Sometimes if you're on the free plan, uh, these, uh, companies block that. So, uh, that's cool. It is, uh, branded, which is fine. It has this made by gamma, but I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, you can also click to presentation mode right here. So looks super slick, right? Like, and I'm just, uh, scrolling through this with the keyboard. Um, and there we go. So pretty, um, Pretty high level overview. I know there's so much more uh, that this uh, gamma is capable of, but I wanted to try to give you at least a high level overview. We called this AI in five, but we didn't make it. It was AI in 11 ish. If this is helpful, I hope it was. As a reminder, please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter. Also, subscribe to this channel. We got a lot going on. Hope to see you back for another AI in 11.